who make the strings louder. Alright guys, so welcome back to another unboxing video. This is super exciting. Uh, in today's unboxing video, we'll be unboxing actually a new phone. Uh, yeah, I did a phone not too long ago in the summer, but of course we have to twist the things around. I'm not an Apple user, so um, yeah. Finally got my hands on the HTC U11. I just had to have it, you know. You know, I'm so I'm so um so satisfied with the 10, and uh, well, I heard so much good about the L U11. Of course, it isn't like uh, many people say that Samsung is best. Many people say the iPhone, new iPhone 8 is best. But um, you know, when it comes to what I've used in the past, uh, this is, I mean, HTC's uh, user interface is probably my favorite. So uh, yeah, I went back to an HTC uh, simply because I'm a uh, well, loyal user, just like my car. I drive a Saab. I'm a loyal, loyal Saab uh, guy. Uh, so, um, or user, or something like that. So there's U11, thankfully made in Taiwan. Earlier on, H yeah, I remember the HTC One X times. You could actually get the uh, One X made in China, and actually, listen to this. The quality was different. That was that was a big thing. So yeah, uh, not much here at the back here. You got some information. Uh, you got uh, Qualcomm Snack, Snapdragon 835, so high end. <laughs> there you go. 5.5 inch uh, Corning Green Glass 5 covered screen. This is a Quad HD Quad HD display, same as the, the HTC 10, but big bigger. You have Micro SD XC expansion up to max two terabyte of memory. That's that's quite cool. I'm just gonna turn my phone to, um, well, not disturb, please. There you go. And uh, four gigs of RAM and 12 megapixel. Well, they call it Ultra Pixel 3, which I believe is right because the, sen the pixels are big and it's kind of a big good sensor on it. it. Has optical image stabilization. The front-facing camera is a 16 megapixel with f 2.0 aperture. Selfie panorama. Oh, there you go. Uh, I'll test that out uh, sometime in the future. Ultra speed autofocus. They actually talked about. Uh, I've seen the uh, like previews of autofocus on this. It's actually pretty decent compared to the 10, of course. Edge sense. So you can squeeze the phone. And yes, yes, finally, IP67 water resistant. So this is super, super cool. HTC Sonic with active noise cancellation. The included earphones or AirPods has, or I don't know things you put in years <laughs> has actual noise cancellation 3d audio recording which means it uses like a, i think it's like a real four microphone to determine where the sound's coming from in terms of where you're filming and stuff so in result it will turn into a better sound hc boom sound of course haven't canceled that out high-res audio nothing new had that on the 10 as well fingerprint reader same as the 10 nano sim same as the 10 don't like nano sim but you know that's how it is qualcomm quick charge 3.0 believe it's the same as the 10 and you get a 802.11 ab g n n a c wireless thank you for that of course um 4g lte network support and nfc uh nfc i believe htc pretty much all their top of the range model i always had nfc uh other than that not much on the box it's very very plain uh so um let's uh, unbox this uh, beauty here i don't actually have something sharp here available so this unboxing video was, was a bit um not planned at all there we go look at this uh, i have so much stuff in my room this is an io shield plate not an io shield plate this is a pci express or pci cover for my case at least for my course here something cheap as Thing. So these are pretty sharp. You can't cut yourself on these. So that's uh, there we go. Yeah, you can't cut yourself on these. That's... From experience, I can tell you that's uh, that's fully possible. Put that there. Couldn't figure out where to put them. Uh, the seal here is taped off, but that's not a problem because you can flip it up like this. Uh, yes, there we go. In the box, you get the same charger that I actually got with the 10. So this is a Qualcomm Tri Quick Charge 3.0 uh, capable adapter, which has a rating of, uh, bear in mind here, uh, 2.5 amps at 5 volts or 1.7 amps at 9 volts or 1.25 amps at 12 volts. So yes, this is a uh, high voltage charger, not the low voltage chargers that uh, I mean others from brands are using. 
Some extra earbuds inserts or uh, thingies, so you, they will match your ears better. Uh, there's your USB-C cable, charging, charge and sync cable. This is not, uh, this is not USB 3.0 certified. So if you want to transfer files using 3.0 speeds, you have to use a three. You have to get yourself a 3.0 cable. Just bear that in mind, because you can use 3.0 on this phone. Here is the USB-C. Um, Heads uh, or headphones or the uh, earb earbuds with active noise cancellation, which these go along with. So uh, there we go. Phone is on top here. Actually, not as light as I thought it was. So let me just get the accessories first here. Very nice packaging from HTC. I love this. Some probably some warranty stickers. Uh, some tapes. Probably seal up the box if you want to. I don't know, send in for warranty or anything. I don't know. And uh, here we go, there is your included case. Yes, they include a case on this shiny phone. And <laughs> even this has a plastic on it, so that's pretty, that's pretty cool, look at this. Even this has a plastic on it. <clears throat> so that's that, and we got the um, USB-C to uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter, because this phone does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. But if the battery life is good enough, I'm not gonna complain because I'm only using my phone in my car to listen to music. So there you go, or or Bluetooth. So not too, not too much of a worry for me. Uh, there's your SIM card removal tool, same as HTC has used for the past like five generations of top or top of the range models. Here is a actually a microfiber fiber cloth because the finish on that phone is just ridiculously glossy. And a lot of other documentation, like, you know, warrant, limited warranty statement, there you go. In there, it will probably tell you that the water resistance uh, thing in uh, on that phone is not meant to submerge in water. Just, just look that up, it's pretty insane. It has IP67 rating, but they recommend you to not submerge it in water, or even uh, water jets. <laughs> so there you go. It's uh, IP67, uh, uh, rated, but HTC recommends that you do not test that also IP67 rating. So, here you go. Uh, so, you have the um, power key here, 8 cents. You can squeeze the phone to do stuff, uh, charge, start, start the camera, and stuff like that. On the top here, you know what? I'm just gonna pack it up, even though know, this is gonna be full of fingerprints. Oh, oh, oh no, what am I doing here? Oh. Um, that's a great uh, solution to rip up this thing here. There we go. The uh, where it actually should, well, where it should rip didn't rip. So there we go. All right, this phone is already attracting some fingerprints here. But look at that! Oh my God! Look at that finish. <laughs> so nice. Uh, let's do the fit and finish on this because some people have complained about the fit and finish on this phone. And this looks to be pretty good order, but remember, I ordered this quite a, some months after it was actually released. So there you go. Great buttons. Oh, same as the 10, man. The 10. Same good buttons. Power button. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's there. So uh, starting from the bottom here, you got a uh, USB-C charge and sync port right here. This camera, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go, some close-ups. Oh yeah, there's your charge and sync um, port, USB-C shaped. Uh, you got your bottom firing speaker and a couple of microphones. This microphone, speaker microphone used for the uh, 3D sound thingy. And this is your, well, phone conversation microphone. On this side, you got nothing else than an antenna band right here and here. And of course, the squeeze function. And on the top, you got the um, micro SD and SIM tray. This camera, photo focus, come on, there you go. There you go, there you can see it. And there is another microphone right there and another antenna band. On this side, we will get another antenna band and the volume rocker and the uh, power button here. And of course, again, the squeeze, uh, well, functionality. So, uh, Jesus Christ, the fingerprints. Are the is that that bad, actually? I'm holding the phone now, but 
is not as big as a fingerprint man as I would thought it would. Of course, you can see it on the camera here. Oh, look at that. You can almost not see it at all because this camera is focusing on everything else in the phone. There we go. Made in Taiwan even. Look at that. This isn't even on, right on the phone there. So yeah, fingerprints, they will get on the phone. So uh, there you go. Let's turn on this thing. Ooh, same vibration motor as the old 10. Uh, well, what I can tell from the sound it made and how it feels. So, uh, yeah, let's close this box here. And uh, leave this thing to boot up. Oh, yes. A lot of animation when it starts up. Uh, HTC has always been uh, quite cool with the animations. There we go. Oh, look at that. Your setup. So I'm going to set up this phone pretty rapidly here. Ooh, it's up and running. Look at that animation background there. Ooh. I'm going to install the uh, Google uh, live backgrounds, you know, with the water and stuff. Let's see if I can show this. Oh, Jesus Christ, the sound is loud in that thing. Can you see this? Yeah, it's actually moving. That's cool, right? Yes, it is. So, we are up and running, and of course, as a as a pin set up the first time. Jesus Christ, that's a why? That's a big screen there. Oh my God. Uh, a language available. Ooh, I'm just gonna set up Norwegian here because I do use Norwegian, and I'm gonna set up that to download. Okay, so it's pretty quick. Uh, seems like it's downloading a system update right now. It's a main update, that's what it looks like, because it's a, a 711 megabyte update. So let's see what's running on Android 7.1.1 now, it says that down there. And the thing is, I did, never, never knew about this, but you have this swipe function here. So let's see, I'm into uh, going to the brightness here. I'm going to go into the um, night mode and turn that on. There you go, turn out to cooler. And I can swipe in from the side to access anything else, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we go back here. It goes back to where I was. Look at that. What I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to test out the camera on this thing. Uh, because that's one of the main reasons I bought this phone. Not because of its size, not because it's gorgeous, but the camera. Uh, the camera on this thing is uh, meant to be like really really good uh so i'm gonna set up the camera here so that's up and running that's there we go so oh yeah not too close for autofocus on this thing that's uh that's weird so mm, hdr wow holy crap that hdr did really did a, did a good job there well, what I can see immediately is that this uh, the HTC 10 photo, well, first of all, it's not in focus. <laughs> Second of all, the ex the uh, it's overexposed, like it's overexposing the uh, highs. Like pretty, I'm going to turn off that um, night mode here. Turn off, there you go. And I'm going to set the brightness to maximum here in this display here. The, first of all, the, it's much clearer because the focus was actually right. Um... The colors are more, well, more of what they should be. Uh, yeah, that's uh, already a good improvement there. I'm going to take a f nice photo of my microphone here because, you know, microphones. Snaps the photo immediately. It makes actually a pretty good bulky effect here. I don't know if you can see this. Um, the camera, there we go. So we can zoom in on my iced tea back here. Yeah. It's super sharp image. Look at that. You can even see how dirty my microphone is right now. That's cool. And yes, that's the microphone I'm using to record right now. So if you wonder, add YouTube to Sense Home. Yes, because everything is connected to Sense Home. Well, apparently it makes the experience much better. So uh, what it has done here, what I can see is the resolution is, well, the scaling of the screen is set to, I believe, the smallest. And my settings has actually crashed. There you go. That's interesting. You got that on film. There you go. Uh, so I'm going to go into my display here. And this display size is at default. So if I go to set that to large, 
it's probably going to be just like my 10. And there you go, it's just like my 10, but everything is way bigger. This was actually a way more pleasant experience to use, actually, when everything was a bit bigger, because, jeez, look at that text. It's so clear. Oh, nice. So, live background, so you can see here, wallpaper, live wallpaper. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that's in there. So, yeah. Overall impressions, pretty cool. So, squeeze the phone to start the camera. There you go, that's squeeze the phone to take a picture. Ooh. Yeah, it's a bit delayed, but because when you're squeezing your phone, you are in tendency to to shake in it, so that's probably why it's a little bit of a delay on it. But snaps the photo and takes a Jesus. That's it. Takes a really really nice photo as well. So that's uh, this is going to be a weird photo to take because it's a w dark color with some reflections and the white color. Yep, very satisfied with that. Actually, it takes. That's a bit noisy picture, but uh, you know, HTC phones. You have the Pro option on them. Uh, of course, uh, people say that it's not as good as many other phones. Yep, Pro and takes raw pictures. So you have like uh, shutter speed here. You can set it all the way to thirty-two, which is which is insane. Um, so you have the like, yeah, you have manual focus here, so you can oh look at that. How close can I get? That's pretty much as close as you can get. Uh, you got ISO from that's a weird uh, adjustment only to eight hundred. Hmm. Because the ISO on my uh, ten is uh, I believe it's like thirty two hundred or sixteen hundred or something. I don't know. See here, uh, Pro. It's ISO thirty two hundred actually. So um, that's weird. And some other stuff here, just brightness control or something. I don't know, that's that shutter or aperture. Cam I don't know, normally remember what the, all these things do. That's your color temperature and stuff. So, uh, yeah, actually uh, not too bad. You have the panorama shot there, of course. You have the 12 megapixels set to 12 megapixels. Now, you can actually take also a 16 by 9 picture, which is way bigger on this screen here. Jeez, God, this screen is so big on this. Uh, for four by three, you have like video here, which is yes for best experience. Make sure not to cover microphones. It's like hold this phone like this, <laughs> so that's um, gonna turn out 3D sound. Actually, you can turn it off right there. High res audio or 3D sound. So I'm gonna set that to 4K. That gave you a little more, a bit more field of view. Slow motion, of course, you got that option. And another thing is, I believe there is an update giving this camera capability to film at full HD at 60 FPS. Uh, this update coming or has to, actually has come, I believe. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, it doesn't seem like you downloaded the update there, but uh, check for that. Yeah, there you go. It's, uh, didn't download it. Download it again, I guess. So yeah, there is your music player. It's actually set up to actually just where we were last time. That's cool. Um, couldn't play the track, of course, because it's on this phone, on the SD card. So uh, what I'm going to do is something you shouldn't do, but or they should recommend you that you don't do it. I'm going to rip off the SIM card removal tool. I'm gonna get, go into my old phone. I'm gonna extract this here. Jeez, that's a lot of dust in there. <sighs> huh. The HTC 10 actually has, um, didn't notice this before now, but it actually has a rubber seal on the um, on this uh, cartridge here. So that's pretty cool. That's my 64 gig SD card. And here we go. And I got a like a bump, like I don't know how I got that bump, but there's a bump right there on the casing of the phone, right there. Because it, holy, how do I get that bump right there without damaging the tray there? That's uh, interesting. So there you go. It has a, this also? Yeah, this also has rubber on it. That's interesting. That's rubber seals on both of them. So I believe my. <laughs> To remember my pin code, of course, I remember my pin code. So, on this phone, it's on the top and it's a uh, same tray for both. And this, when you extract it, also has a bigger uh, lip around the 
around the tray there. So releasing that from its casing here or from its uh, well, phone here, put that thing there, put in this a memory card there, and that's pretty much it. Slide that inside. That's what she said. There we go. It's up, and yeah, there we go. So that was the correct pin code. Look at that. And SIM card complete setup. Oh, yes, I'm gonna install that now. And uh, Netcom Norway. There we go. Yeah. So it's uh, refreshing there because it's probably down installing some updates. There we go. Oh, thank you, Google, or thank you, HTC. I just removed my everything, like removed everything <laughs> I had set up. Why did you do that? Oh my god, so I have to set up everything on new now. So annoying. But thing is, you can go in here. At, why did it change my even change my language back to Norwegian? Why did it do that? That's interesting because it probably got the settings from the SIM card and just ah do this. So there you go, language. Uh English, United States. Oh, there we go. Do you want to? Uh, yes. Oh, thank you, Norwegian or sorry, thank you, English. And I'm gonna set up that clock again. There we go. It's clock and yes. Oh yes, it's up and running again. But of course, all the things here, well, they're gone now. Why did it do that? Let's see if it find my music now. Did it? Did it find my music? Oh. Okay, the downloads folder is of course on the memory card on that phone. So. Yeah, music is still here. And that's way better than the ten. <laughs> that's a big difference. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it of the phone. It's really rapid, smooth. Yeah, super quick as all other HTC phones. Jesus Christ, so nice. It can turn off and on and sense here with the quick toggle. That's pretty cool. That's a good thing to have because, oh no, I squeezed the phone. Oh no. I opened the camera. Why no? Why do that? So we can just go in here and just ah, screw that. No, not opening the camera at all. So um, yeah, I can turn it on and off. That's cool. I, well, actually, pretty quick as well. It's not too bad, actually. That's uh, nice. Night mode, there you go. Ooh. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been a very exciting unboxing video. Jesus Christ, I'm so sweaty right now. It's so, so exciting. There you can see all the fingerprints on the phone. So what I'm going to do now is wipe that off. With this included microfiber cloth here. There you go. <clears throat> is it HTC branded? Yes, it is HTC branded. Thank you for that. I love HTC branded th stuff. So I'm just going to wipe that off, uh, which comes off very easily. So it has a very nice coating on there. The case, of course, I'm sorry, I'm going to cover it up because look at this beauty. I'm going to set this phone inside this case here, which is actually hard plastic. Uh, actually, it's kind of in the middle of soft and hard plastic. But one thing is good, though, it really, really tucks it in there. It has a lip around it, like it has a slight lip on the top here, so it's uh, slightly protects the screen somewhat. See, it's a slight lip there. So ripping off this. Well, thankfully it's clear though, so we can actually see the beauty still, and it, the, the case itself isn't bad. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna install this, and I'm gonna say thank you for watching this unboxing video of the beautiful HTC U11. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to add a comment and uh, thumbs up if you thought it was a great phone. Thumbs down if you have something other, other thing on your mind. Of course, stay subscribed for more content on this uh, channel. And, um, well, see you guys in the next video.